Right, um, let's continue. For the following problems, draw graphs which of x which is continuous over the interval minus 44 with the following properties. Okay. Copy. An absolute max of two. Okay, let's uh, make some space. Or, okay. All right, an absolute maximum at two and absolute minimum at plus and minus three. Okay, so I could go with something like this, absolute max and absolute minimum okay that's 104 105 absolute minimum at one and absolute maximum at two so minimum absolute minimum let's say we'll go down to minimum and then up to maximum and then back down here okay um 106 absolute maximum at four absolute minimum at minus one i guess i don't need to go to four to four i don't know why i did that um absolute max at four absolute minimum minus one local max at minus two and a critical point that is not maximum at two okay so uh let's let's i don't know what do we do um that's a bit too much Uh, absolute maximum at four, minimum at minus one, local max at minus two. Uh, that's okay. Now, how will I draw a critical point that is not a maximum or a minimum? So that's a like a saddle point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Absolute maximum at two and at minus three. Uh, local minimum at one and absolute 
maximum absolute minimum at four and this is a local minimum okay Oh, let's see what this is like. Ah, uh, that's just very fine. Okay, okay. What's next now? For the following exercise, for the critical points in the domain of the following functions. All right, should be okay. All right, 108. So dy dx is 12x squared minus 3 equals 0. So that means the critical points would be at x, uh, 3 over 12, 1 over 4, plus or minus a half. Okay. 109. The derivative is bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. That should equal zero. So cancel out the twos. I can get one over root x equals x. So x has to be positive, kind of has to be one, doesn't it? Okay. One ten. Um, we can use a chain rule. Uh, be one over x minus one squared. From it, bring down the power, reduce the power up by one, and multiply by the inside derivative, and that's equal to zero. Ah, none. Um. Although. Uh, no, well, mm, possibly at one. Yeah, let me just, um, let me just check something here. Okay. Yeah, um, you see, what I'm not sure about is one, because I wouldn't exactly say that the function is undefined because of the square. We kind of know it's plus and Infinity. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, maybe there's an example in the book here that we could draw on. Let's see. Let's see being interpreted. Undefined. Hmm. This might be a good one to have a look at. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Maybe. I guess we could say it's undefined in. You know, I'm gonna have to pause and and, and do a little bit more searching. Okay, okay. So, um, not to mix up undefined and indeterminate. So, this is determinant, but it's undefined. But also, uh, is one allowed? It's not allowed. So, actually, I'm going back to my original, which is none. Okay. A hundred and eleven. Um, the derivative would be one over x minus two. Uh, we need that to equal zero or undefined. Uh, we can't get it equal to zero, but we can get it undefined. But we can't use we can't use two, so that's a none as well. Actually, I can check the answers. Okay, let's see. Okay, one eleven. Yeah. Tan X one over cos squared X equal zero we can't could we make it undefined we can when cos x equals zero but that uh is not allowed because that would be not in the domain so again i think that's a none one one three uh bring down the power reduce the power by one and then yeah okay they cancel equals zero. Okay, hang on. Let's see now. Um, I think we could have zero, two, or minus two. Uh, yeah. Let's check if that's right, actually. Just zero. Now, why is two and minus two not allowed? Because it makes it undefined and it is permitted. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Might have to check on that one. Okay, one one four. Bring down the power, reduce the power by one. Uh, bring down the power, uh, reduce the power by one. It should equal zero. We can get rid of the twos. We can divide by three to make that a five. So I get x power minus a half equals five x power minus three over two. Um, dividing, so. <sighs> or I could multiply both sides by x power and a half. So I'll get 1 equals 5 x power a half minus 1. So x equals 5. Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Ooh, one, one, five. Ooh. Do I want to change this x plus one times x minus one over three and one x plus three times x minus one 
So if I differentiate this, excluding the, uh, just, yeah, excluding uh, axis one, because one and three are not allowed. So canceling that, and then we get the bottom squared. So we can't have it undefined. Um, then the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom needs to equal zero. So this would need to equal this, which so it looks like a none again. 116, bring down the power, reduce the power by one. Okay, so it's so whenever sine or cos is zero. So that means uh, for sine, it's uh, n pi. And then for cos, pi over two and three pi over two. And n is an integer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One one seven. Um, one minus one over x squared equals zero. So we can't use zero. So x is plus or minus one. Okay. One one seven. Correct. 115, correct. 113, mm. so this guy here, yeah, I wonder if it should be included. Okay, 111 is none, yep, 109 is one, yep. Hmm. One one tray. Bring down the power. Reduce the power by one. Yeah. One second. So oh, good news. Good news. I checked here and somebody's already opened a ticket about this that it'll be marked as being corrected. Um, um, answers are zero, two and minus two. So that's good, that's good. So yeah, I am, I am correct here. And someone's already noticed that that answer is wrong. So that's great then, that's great. Um, three over 12, one, yeah, I think, I think that's okay. Uh, 110, yeah, I think that's okay as well. Likewise for 112, 114, that's kind of a, a tricky one to solve, but um, I said that's 114, but we know that's right. And uh, it's just when sine and cos is zero. So yeah, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. So yeah, we're good for today. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.